Hey everybody, it's the Daily Moogle, and welcome back to Avion 4. We're going to talk to the Raven Lord, since we obliterated... That's the game's terminology, not mine. I happen to be very friendly with Scarecrows. But we obliterated all of the ones that we needed to. All 13 of them. And now the Raven Lord is going to help us somehow. He's going to have one of his Raven minions give it to us. He's my bravest son. He will battle any enemy and peck any briars without discretion. Ooh, you know what I think was happening here? We're getting a new minion. Ugh. So, we can only use one minion at a time, I'm assuming. So, let's... Can I go into the menu and, like... I think he's just one of, like, the equipment, right? Yeah, Colby. So I can switch him out for Razor. Not as creepy as the Raven Lord, but just as dangerous. Well, I like danger. I guess. We gotta try him out anyway. Um, that, that doesn't go anywhere. So, okay, great. We got a new minion. Well, that begs the question, what do we do next? Well, I suppose our new minion has the ability to peck these. So why don't we go talk to this creepy tree that I noticed in the last video. This is the Elder Oak. Is this like the Grandmother Willow from Pocahontas or something? What did you just say? I see no potential sword singers amongst you. Isn't that who... Isn't that Mist? Isn't that... Am I getting that mixed up? Or isn't that what she's supposed to be? Or is that... Alright guys, well I decided to take a break uh, from figuring out what to do next to complete this parsnip quest. Because, you know, it's something to do in the meantime. <laughs> And we're, we're loved now by Penne, who is named after a type of pasta. The conditions for growing parsnips are not right in Windshire, but apparently right outside the city, everything is just fine. I didn't think the, the line in the sand would be, uh, or in the dirt in this case, I guess, would be like, you know, a hard line, whatever. We got a bee stinger. So, what does that do? <laughs> what kind of item is that? Is that something we can... Oh, wow, it is a gear. Float like a boat, sting like a bee stinger. <laughs> Float like a Cadillac, sting like a beamer. I suppose I can put it on boil. It gives him three luck, which, you know, compared to the minus 72 that he still has, probably doesn't even matter, but, you know, every little bit helps, I suppose. Okay, guys, I stumbled upon a new area here. This is the Windy Valley. I know we are trying to make it to Tor. And this doesn't appear to be the right way. I just was excited I found something new. Probably probably could have just not included this in the video. But I, I will. Alright, now we're, we have another new area nearby. The Dragon Wasteland. Um, That's what we call one of the cities where I sort of grew up. <laughs> it's actually Westland. But, you know, it's called Wasteland by the people who know that that's what it is. <clears throat> Even people who live there. Okay, so we have these giant teeth sticking out of the ground. That's welcoming. That's It's basically a welcome mat. And we got some new enemies, some centipedes. Uh, I'm gonna flame you, if you don't mind. And we also get to see our new minion in action here for the first time. Nice! He's got an attack that hits uh, the whole enemy party. That's good. <laughs> I love those kinds of attacks. Because I don't... We don't actually have any of those right now, do we? I don't know if any of our characters have... Like, we have ones that hit multiple times, but I don't know if there's one that actually hits the whole party. So who would have known our minion would be the first one to, to do that? Alright, Ingrid's level 15. Very good. All very good. Jolly good. Um... Oh, okay. Something's happening. Do you see that? See what? Over there. I know what you're talking about, Mist. A little crevasse. In the wall. Well, what is it? It's quite shiny. Looks like a knife. What do you mean, the kind that you use? 
Okay. <laughs> I love how when Ingrid gets angry, she, uh... You know, loses control and turns people into things. That's awesome. Yep, you learned a new thing. Slither eyes. You turn people into snakes. Okay, so that enables her to get into tight spaces, I guess. And I'm not going to argue about getting a new weapon at all. I mean, I'm always down for that. So that's pretty cool. So I guess now from now on we got to keep an eye out for little crevasses with sparkly things. All right, Tor. Okay, that's the place I recognize. So if, I guess we want to head to the east here. Um, I know this is not the east. I thought I thought it said west at first. But uh no, I'm just kind of wandering around cuz even after getting through uh, the woods, we have a whole other area to explore. And I like the way this place looks. This is really cool, the way it's kind of like a wetlands. And the trees kind of look like, like truffle trees from the frickin' uh, the Lorax. Do you guys remember that book? I remember reading that. <clears throat> and then they had to come out with the weird movie that... I don't even think I've seen the movie. No, 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 I have seen the movie. What am I talking about? But it's just kind of... I don't know. It's it's one of those things where the book is obviously better. The movie was just weird to me. I don't know. Okay, just heading back up this way, we get a little bag of money. And it looks like that's it for this little island. Whoa! What is this? I think that might be locked. Yeah, I could guess that much. But it's so... Inviting. I don't know what that is, but I... I won't forget that site. Okay, apparently you're just here for decoration. Location check. So we're still sort of headed in the right direction. Tor is still to the east. That has not changed. Don't worry, Cheeky, I gotcha. Oops. <laughs> wow, why does it seem like you move way faster than the other ones? Get over... Stop! Thank you. I can't dash. This is as fast as I can walk. Work with me here. The sign says, warning. Do not approach. Well, naturally, I'm going to approach then. Here's another one of those weird doors. But this one's even more mystifying because it's got the, uh... The teeth. <laughs> yes, the door itself has teeth, okay? Okay, are you guys these kobolds that I've been hearing a little bit about? I've been finding some of your curry. <laughs> we got a plain one and a green one. What's your favorite flavor? Oh my god! Okay. You could just beat my ass. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, these guys are way too tough for me right now. Like, I might die here. <laughs> Shit. Um... Okay. I just gotta I just let it happen. <clears throat> wow. Now, we'll never... I've never actually game over it yet, so let's see what happens. This is a surprise. Oh, that's it, huh? Just a sad, teary-eyed picture of mist. Oh, shit. So if I continue the autosave... Oh, god damn it, dude. That puts me way back here. Okay, um, starting over from the autosave when I first entered this area was not fun. I had to redo a lot of stuff. But I'm back. And I found a job, a job board. I can't even say it right. Uh, okay. I don't want to know why you need 12 centipede legs. But I, is that a drop I should have been getting by fighting these the centipedes in this area? Because I don't think I've gotten a single one of those. And it better not be like a rare drop, because if I need 12 of them, it's going to take a little while. But I'll tell you what, man. Um, For my first game over, at least it was like completely one-sided. It wasn't like any fault of my own, really. It was just, it, you know, I got my ass handed to me. There was nothing I could have done. So I'm actually okay with that type of game over. <laughs> It's better than me just, like, screwing up and making a wrong move and, you know, doing it to myself. Oh, man, I love the music here already. Oh, yeah. Dude, I love solo acoustic guitar. It's amazing. So here we are in tour. 
So we used to be we used to be uh, in charge of this village. You challenged the mayor to a game of two card flip for it and lost. <laughs> Come on, Boyle. I don't even know. Is that a real game or is that? If it is, I've never played it before. I don't think. Or is, is it just like? Is there no skill to it? It sounds like it's one of those games where you just flip a card over, and if one's higher than the other, then you win. Like War. I know War is a game I've played before. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of card games, honestly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we still have really bad luck. We've only done two statues so far. Apparently that applies not only to, like, our performance in battles, but also our performance in card games. <laughs> I'm commandeering this vessel. I'm totally into this music right now. I'm like half spaced out just listening to it. <laughs> this is a really good soundtrack to this game. Um, I haven't even looked yet, but I need to see if the soundtrack is available. Because I'm one of those weirdos that will actually listen to music from video games. Because it's actually, you know, really good. Like, it doesn't get enough credit. Uh, let's head down to the dock and choose a ship. Okay. Alright, let's investigate Tor. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave the rooster alone. We're already puzzled about something. Yeah, there's a cage. <laughs> I don't get it either. It is... It, what do you... <gasps> Fang! Oh my god! We're not even off the... Are we? I guess we're off the mainland? How come the uh, Mist Queen couldn't figure out where he was? I didn't think we were going to find him so quickly. What is the only thing in between him and us, this little wooden fence? Because this is one of those times where video game logic should just disappear and, like, we just jump the fence. We just straddle it. I'm not sure who thought that was a good idea, but it kind of looks like those train tracks sort of go th through the house? Or they just connect to the roof? I don't know. I I'm guessing we'll be able to walk on those to get around. Impressive prizes for people who make it all the way to the top of the arena. I have a feeling we're going to be doing that. And let me guess, that's how we're going to win our ship. We're going to have to fight for it. Um... Oh, God. Who's the mystic? And what do we have it going on in this house? Hello, sir. Joe. You've been on a diet for one day? That's better than I've ever done, I'll tell you that much. The Great Dragon War. Alright, good read. There doesn't seem to be a lot of activity going on here. Tor is the largest port town on the mainland. Okay, I guess it's a, a big port town. Alright. Spoke too soon. You, okay, should I not stay at the inn then? I don't want to lose half my gold. I guess I could just go spend it all first. I saw the cheeky over there, don't worry. I'll come back for you. What do we have going on here? What? What is this? Oh, that's your ledger. <laughs> He's like, uh, okay. All right, we'll come back, maybe. I don't know. You creep me out, old man. Hey, I broke 2,000 coins. That's pretty good. Here's all those weird doors. And I'm gonna get the same comment. I am desperate to know what those are for. Those look really interesting. <clears throat> Let's climb up here and cut down the cheeky. You have nothing I want. Oh, mystery buyer. Okay. Where did you run off to? Oh my gosh, there you are. Well, you're trapped. Thanks. <laughs> you made that easy. The mystic has made my wildest dreams come true. He got me out of jail and gave me a million dollars. Don't you think it's strange that the mystic employs an elf from Delamere? They're known for being crafty. I don't know. I don't know. I'm new to this town. I don't I'm new. I don't know is that a, a stereotype against elves from Delamere? You know, those those elves from Delamere, they they sure are crafty, but they can't do much else. Everybody knows that. 
What do we have here? This dungeon's pretty pathetic, and uh, compared to the, <laughs> you know, the one, the one we almost were in. Well, we were in it, and almost got executed. Hello, folks. Funny running into you here. Oh, here's the card flip place. Uh huh. Well, obviously we're gonna go right in. Would you care to play a game? Heck yeah! Oh, okay, I guess not. I guess... I guess we weren't serious about getting to do that. Now I'm disappointed. I know a lot of people didn't like the triple triad card game from like Final Fantasy VIII and IX. Although they weren't exactly the same. Like rules and such. Uh, I actually thought they were kind of fun. I mean, they were pretty simple. There really wasn't much to it, but... I know it drove some people crazy. It, some of the rules definitely did still drive me crazy, though. I will say that. Like, the fact that you didn't always have control over what rules got applied. That, it did make it annoying sometimes. I will say that. Here's the mystic. I kind of figured he would be in the weird-looking tent. I've actually seen, like, a little fortune-telling, uh, shop. I, guess, I don't know what else. It's not a shop, but, like, a fortune-telling place in the area. And I'm like, how funny would it be to just go there and just... There's there's lots of people that do that, right? That just go to those places to see... You know, I don't believe a second of it at all. It's complete and utter garbage, but... Just to, just to see, you know, how lucky they can guess or whatever. Uh, is there anything I can grab in this house? I don't know, but we can head out the back. Let's go out the back door. Or it's just another room. You're the mayor's daughter. Okay. Why do you have a cage? Are Is that your cage? Does the mayor keep you caged up? <clears throat> Whoa, hey. All right. I was just walking around pushing the action button. But I'll take a cheeky, even a surprise one. In fact, those are the best. I see a cheeky in the chimney. Oh, okay. I was like, I was about to say, how do I get that one? It's not going to let me just grab it here. But then it did. Imagine that. It actually worked. Hmm. Interesting place. Wooden bridges are pretty cool, I will say that. Let's see, what do you have to say over here, stranger? Doors with strange markings. Yes, I have. Please tell me. You've heard rumors about an ancient race living underground. But I think it's just vandalism. What do you mean, vandal? It's like a... The door is animated. It has like a back, a moving background to it. What do you mean vandalism? Hey, cheeky on the box. I'm gonna figure out how to get to you. Yes, I am, but not right now. Okay. I'm gonna donate to the statue. If you don't mind, lady. So that's like three out of ten. I mean, it's so weird that our luck isn't going to return to normal until probably, like, pretty much towards the end of the game. It's, I mean, we basically have to visit ten places with a statue. Okay, I guess it's time to just see what happens when we stay at the inn. I'm not excited about the possibility of getting robbed, but it might be what I have to do, I'm not sure. Nope. Okay. In fact, nothing happened at all. Okay. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot they don't let you go up. Yeah, that's not new. That happened in the other ends too. All right, guys. Uh, I know I'm not totally done exploring the town, but I think I'm gonna end the video right here at this crossroads. Where I sold my soul to the devil for guitar skills. And thanks so much for watching, guys. This is the Daily Moogle. Enjoy me in the next video now. Bye.